A local painter knows his work may make people uncomfortable, and he says that's part of the art. The RISD grad has created abstract portrayals, immortalizing each person murdered in Providence last year. So far, he's finished a third of those paintings. ABC6 News reporter Dana Griffin was there when some of the victims' families saw the work for the first time. She has more on their reaction to this tribute and to the dead in an exclusive report. Why murder as an art subject? Well, for one local painter, he says art is supposed to be complicated. These murders all share at least one thing in common. Someone was left behind with that painful unanswered question, why? This is the street scene where he passed. Somebody came up on him and shot him while he was in his car. 19-year-old Dimitri Todd, the third Providence murder of 2013. He was stabbed while he waited for the bus at Kennedy. 18-year-old Charlie Otero was conscious long enough to name his killer. Then there's 21-year-old Henry Rodriguez. They ran him down with um, a car. And um, so far, I understand there's nobody brought accountable for it. 14 people were murdered in Providence last year. These paintings represent some of them. It's the most beautiful thing you could imagine, built out of the most tragic thing you could possibly picture. Crime scenes, faces, and stories intertwined in a four by five foot abstract painting created by 24 year old Jordan Seabury. Growing up in Chicago, Jordan says he could have easily been one of these men. When we talk about street violence and homicides, we tend to write it off as this urban epidemic that doesn't affect anybody else. His inspiration comes from personal interviews with each of the victim's families and circumstances surrounding their murder. I think seeing these paintings means that you saw what happened. And sharing that story means that you were sitting on that mother's couch just like I was. Here Seabury puts on the finishing touches. A few days later, they're revealed for the first time. Although these works of art will never replace their dead sons, fathers and cousins, they're helping these loved ones feel their presence once again. There was a certain look that he had and I think with the eyes he captured, that's something that captured. Along with the larger paintings, Jordan created individual portraits that he gave to each mother. Ever since he gave me the portrait, it feels like I have him there. These paintings will never bring closure to the families. They say closure doesn't exist. Seabury has partnered with the Institute for the Study and Practice of Nonviolence. Together they are seeking funding to complete the remaining 11 paintings. I'm Dana Griffin, ABC6 News.